three, two, one, action. Hello, this is Andrew Melikar. We will be doing problem 7-6, part C. In this problem, we will be finding a mechanism and rate law for the generation of O2. So in the absence of NO and NO2, the rate law for ozone generation is the following equation. It states that the rate law of O3 is equal to K times O2 times M, all divided by O2 times M plus K prime times O3. Looking at this equation, uh, we can tell that, or we know from nomenclature that M is an inert, and oxygen is the active species. Um, so then we want to use table 7-1 rule of thumb for okay. developing a mechanism. And so using that we know first off Species having concentrations in the denominator of the rate law. probably collide with active intermediates, which can be simplified to A plus A star, the intermediate, goes to collision products. And then part two of that is constants appearing in the denominator of the great law probably collide Sorry, probably spontaneously decom of active intermediates, which can show as a star goes to decomp 
position product. And then the third and final rule of this is that species having concentrations to move by the ladder a bit. In the numerator of the great law probably Produce active intermediates or the actant goes to A prime plus other. So now that we know these things, we can break down the equation here to generate our mechanisms. So, if we take the top, the numerator, KO2M, we know this is in the numerator, and so we can go to rule three, saying this, probably produces an active intermediate. In the denominator, O2M plus KO3, we know the species in the denominator probably collides with active intermediates. Also, if there's a constant, there could be spontaneous decay. So, collide with active intermediate and spontaneous decay. These are the two things that can happen when there is stuff in the denominator. And so using the numerator, we can generate a mechanism, which we are going to suggest that it is O2 plus M plus a single oxygen can go and create O3 plus M. However, this can also go in reverse to create O2 plus M plus an O. And then from this denominator and from this mechanism here, we're going to use this to say that O3 plus O can go to 2O2. So this becomes our mechanism. And we can assign rate constants of this being K1 K2, and finally, K3. Then, if we want to try and substitute into this, we can find out what K1, or K prime and K is. Uh, so, 
we know this will then create two K two times K three over K one. And for K prime, we know that K three over K one So, now we have the mechanisms. However, what do we do with this, you might ask? Well, we need to think back a while uh, to the early days of intermediates, where it wasn't a proven fact that they actually exist because they ap appear and disappear so quickly. So, there was a great chemist who uh, developed some scientific reasoning uh, which led to the pseudo-steady-state hypothesis, which states that we can create, uh, using this equation, R A prime, or R A star is equal to the sum n of I minus 1, R I a prime, and that is equal to zero. And using this, we can come up with a rate constant for a intermediates without actually having the intermediates in. So, since we already had the stated mechanisms, we're going to write them in a slightly different interpretation. We're going to have the first one, the O2 plus O plus M going to K1, O3 plus M. Then we'll have our second being O3 plus M going to K2, O2 plus O plus M. As you can see, these are the same, just split up. And then finally, we have O3 plus O, K3 goes to 2O2. And then we can rewrite these, although very similarly, replacing R1 is equal to K1O2. O M using the K and then the reactants K two O three times M and finally R three is equal K three of O three O three O um. So, uh, however, as I had previously said, uh, these containing O's, they're too, they still have too much issue creating uh, because it has active intermediates and they disappear and, dis and reappear so fast, it's almost impossible possible to measure, so they are not helpful equations. But, we can do something that is helpful. As I said, use the PSSH. With this, we can say D DT is equal to zero. And then we can say from this, Using that, that, that this zero is equal to K one O two O and M plus K two O three M 
We will switch this. Is actually a subtraction. O M minus K three O three O. Then doing some basic algebra. K1, O2, minus K3, O3. And this is our final rate law of the production of RO2, or rate reaction for O2. Uh, thank you for coming to this presentation. Uh, add me on Snap. Thank you for coming. Bye.